Oh, Jesus, take me deeper in you. Lord Jesus, take me deeper. Take me deeper. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Ancient of days, we thank you for this day. This is the day you have made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the 21 days prayer and fasting program. We thank you for all the wonderful things you have done. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. May your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, everyone connected this day and everyone connected to the 21 days prayer and fasting program globally. Lord, meet every need in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be no one that will not have outstanding testimony. Thank you, everlasting Father. In this, mess, in this particular ministration, Father, speak to us by yourself and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen and amen. If you can hear me, shout hallelujah. This morning, I'm speaking on what I titled Capacity for Access. Capacity for Access. Capacity for Access. So why do you need capacity then? Access to what? God said this year is our year of supernatural open doors. <laughs> but capacity is required. Capacity is required for you to be able to enjoy these supernatural open doors. As we go on in this message, the Lord will open our understanding and bless us mightily in Jesus' name. What is capacity? Capacity is the maxi maximum amount that something can contain, that something can produce, or that something can generate. A maximum amount. So you need capacity for you to be able to produce or generate maximum result this year. And the Lord will give you that capacity in the mighty name of Jesus. And access. Access on the other hand. Access is to... Access grants, you know, access grants passage. Is to have uh, uh, a passage. To be able to have access, to be able to have... Um, a passage or entry on in that entry to a particular place that's access something is made available that is access when something is made available that is access and i am here to tell somebody the lord said i should tell somebody today that you are going to enjoy all round season of supernatural open doors, even right from this week in the mighty name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy all that season of supernatural open doors. Not only that, the Lord says he will do a new thing in your life. He will do a new thing in your life. And that new thing is beginning from this particular week in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Capacity for access. I want to read First Chronicles very quickly. We take our text from First Chronicles. I am reading New uh, Living Translation, NLT version. First Chronicles. I read verse uh, chapter fourteen from verse eight. First Chronicles fourteen eight. It says, "When the Philistines are." When the Philistine had that David had been anointed king over Israel, they mobilized all their forces to capture him. When the Philistine had that David had been anointed king over Israel, they said they mobilized all their forces to do what? To capture him. Praise the name of the Lord. I am praying for somebody you shall not be captured <laughs> by power of darkness in Jesus' name. Said so they mobilized all their forces to capture him. But David was told, when David was told, he and his men marched out to meet them. When David was told, he and his men marched out to meet them. If you read this scripture, I mean, some uh, earlier chapters of that scripture, 
you will see that these same Philistines, they were taking care of David when Saul was running after him. When Saul wanted to capture him, they were taking care of David. They eat David in the cave. They took care of David. They were giving him food. They were giving him, they gave him shelter. And they gave him everything he needed. But what happened? What changed? When they saw that there is an open door, when they saw that he has been enthroned, the Bible said when they saw that he has been anointed king over all Israel, not just a particular tribe, over all Israel, the Philistines were angry and they planned to capture him. They planned to capture him. But the Bible says, but David was told, they, but when David was told they were, that they were coming, so he and his men marched out to meet them. Why did they march out to meet them? They have to march out to stop them because they want to capture David. So David cannot rest on his oars. David already has an open door, open door to the throne. He has been made king already. So there is open door for David. And the enemy rose up against him. That you that we used to take care of. You that you used to be at our mercy. Now you have freedom. You want to enjoy this supernatural open door. No. We are going to work against you. They were out to capture him. And the Bible said David arose with his men. And he marched out. It means David had capacity to stop them. Not just that. David had something more than just natural capacity. There is divine and supernatural capacity that works for David. There is there's divine capacity. There is supernatural capacity that works for David. And look at verse 10. Look at verse 10. I jumped to verse 10 because of our time. So, so David asked God, when he heard that they, they were out to capture him, David asked God, should I go to fight against the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? And the Lord replied, go. Say yes, go ahead. I will give you the victory. I will give you what? The victory. So David did not just jump out that, hey, I have power. Remember the Bible say it's not by might, it's not by strength, but by the spirit of the Lord. By my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. So the Bible said, by strength shall no man prevail. So I want us to understand that. So David, even though he had men, he has to still consult God. That God, you have given me this open, open doors. You have given me this throne. The enemy has come. What should I do? And God told him, I will give you victory. And God gave him victory just as a promise. As you embark on this journey, this year's journey, uh, there shall be supernatural open doors. And at the same time, there shall be opposition. But always go back to God. Ask for direction. And the Lord will always give you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. So he defeated the Philistines. And if you look at verse 13, the Philistines, they, they reinforced. They came again. They relaunched the launch attack again in verse 13. But after a while, somebody say after a while. So the enemy, most times, they don't go to bed. They don't go to sleep. So when you have open doors, don't go and relax that, yes, everything is okay. The enemy is still strategizing. After a while, the Bible says in verse 13, the Philistines returned and raided the valley again. They returned and raided the valley again. And once again, David went back to God again. That's verse 14 now. David went back to God again and asked God, what do I do? And God says, look at different instruction this time around. God says, do not attack them straight on. Do not attack them straight on. God replied. Instead, Circle around behind them and attack them near the Bashan tree. That was what God told him. And in verse 16, because of our time. So David did what God commanded 
and it struck down the Philistines. I mean, and all the way from Gibeon to Geza. And look at verse 17. Look at verse 17. The Bible says, So David's fame spread everywhere. That was when David now had peace. That was when David now started enjoying his open doors. He, the throne that God has given to him. David's fame spread everywhere. And the Lord caused all nations, not just one nation. The Lord caused all nations to fear David. Because David relied on God. I want you to understand that God will always fight for you if you can rely on him. If you can trust him. He will never, never fail. He is the same. He will not fail you. And he will not fail you. He will not fail you. I say he will not fail you in the name of Jesus. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. This is New Testament. If you say, oh, Old Testament was Old Testament we read earlier. This is New Testament. The Bible says, say, for great door, Apostle Paul speaking, for great and effectual door is open to me. But what happened? Say, there are many adversaries. He did not say there is one adversary. Say, there are many adversaries. So, this brings us to, this, to the following salient statement I want to make. But before we do that, look at what the Bible says in the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 10 verse 13. It says, but the prince of the Persia kingdom resisted me. Uh, uh, the, the angel that was taking the, the, uh, the answer of Daniel to him, you know, was talking to Michael. Resisted me 21 days. I don't know if your answer has been resisted 21 days of this prayer and fasting program. Today is the 21st day. The Lord will send this angel. The Lord will send the reinforcement. The Lord will send the, part, the supernatural to take what belongs to you for you. Even today in the mighty name of Jesus. So, but he resisted me for 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me because I was detained with the king of Persia. So the testimony of Daniel was detained. The answer to the prayer of Daniel was detained for 21 days. Yet, Daniel did not stop praying. He continued to bombard them. He continued to ask until something shifted in the spirit realm. Probably your case is like the case of Daniel. You have been asking, and the Lord has given you access, but you need capacity to enter, to, to use that access. You need capacity to enter that open door. The fact that there is open door does not mean that you can just enter into it. And the fact that you enter into that open door does not mean that it's beneficial to you. So for every profitable open door, there will be opposition. And you need capacity to overcome those opposition. And you must always rely on God. Because by strength shall no man prevail. Daniel relied on God. David relied on God. Apostle Paul relied on God. And they got results. You will get results also. So as you experience open doors, I want you to understand that there is yet something needed. A capacity. You need adequate capacity. For you to enjoy that open door, so that the open door will just not be staring at you, and you can do you. I mean, you be able to, you not be able to profit therein. Listen and listen well. There are people that have connection. There are people that are well connected. But if God is not helping you, I mean, if God, let me put it this way: if God, if you are not consulted God. And rely on God so that you can leverage on those connections. Those connections may not favor you in any way. So God is needed. The capacity that is needed is your own effort and God's backing. You must put your own effort. Daniel continued to pray. Did not keep quiet. David marched out with his men. Yet he consulted God. Meaning you must take action and you must contact God too. You must 
you, you must consult God. And God will do his part. God will ensure that you have the capacity required in order for you to enjoy the open door. Daniel was able to enjoy the, the benefit of his, test, of, of his prayers eventually after the Prince of Persia was dealt with. I want to say the following very quickly. Number one, every open door, every open door attracts foes and friends. Every open door attracts foes and friends. The enemy will rise up and say, oh, is, it, is she the only one? Is he the only one? They will rise up. They will want to make sure that they close that door. You must stand still. You must remain connected to your divine source. You see, what brings the open door in the first place is divine intervention. So you must glue to that divine source so that you, the enemy will not be able to prevail against you. The psalmist says, right from my youth, have they attacked me, but they have not prevailed against me. That was the testimony of David. They will continue to bombard you. Open doors will bring friends. Open doors will bring the enemy. So you must know how to balance it. You must know what the right thing to do so that you don't get carried away because of the open door. You must remain focused. Every open door attracts friends and attracts enemies. That's number one point I want to make. Number two, open doors is an invitation to resistance, envy, and attack. Open doors is an invitation to resistance, envy, and what? An attack. I want you to know when you want to make progress, there will be resistance. Remember the dream of, of Joseph. The brother said, Let us throw, let us sell him off and let us see what becomes of his dream. They were trying to resist what God wanted to do in his life, and they were trying to, to sabotage his, his, his future. I am praying that every resistance to your open doors, the law will silence. There was envy too. They don't want him to go beyond their level. They don't want him to go beyond the status quo. And they were envying him. So open doors will bring envy. Like, bro, Victor, you have gotten a good job. Envy will come. But you must remain connected to the king of glory. Because he's the only one that can keep you from all the attack. Attacks will come. Envy will come. So to every open door, there will be resistance. There will be envy. There will be attack. Number three uh, point I want to make. Open doors brings, I mean, bring you into spotlights and public scrutiny. Open doors bring you into spotlight. You become a known person. Oh, maybe when you get to that place and say, oh, where is that person that is not an accountant and the employed? Let us look at, let us, let us, let us, let us scrutinize him, you know. Open doors brings what? It, it brings you into spotlight and it brings public scrutiny. Some people that are not um, celebrity, nobody knows what is happening around them. But when you become a known person, you become a, 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 the public will begin to scrutinize you. Because of our time, I will run quickly. Open doors brings different kinds of connections and opportunity. Open doors brings connections and opportunities. Open doors increases your visibility and responsibility. Open doors increases your vis. You become more visible to people and you become more responsible. To whom much is given, uh, what is required, much is required. So you become visible, you become more responsible. So it must be balanced. Open doors is a test. I want you to listen to this one. Open doors is a test, an assessment of the quality of the character of a man. Open door is a test, an assessment of the quality and character of a man. Let me say this quickly. If you are not where to do here, you have not enjoyed open door. You have not broke, I mean, you have not enjoyed a major breakthrough. You have not enjoyed marathon of favor. You have not enjoyed certain things. You may still be very, uh, 
very humble. Let me put it that way. You may still be very humble, but listen to me. When the when breakthrough comes, when favor comes, when open doors come, the real you will manifest. Then we will know whether you are truly humble or not. So open door is a revealer of, of character. When you, you don't have anything now, people, oh, you, you, are, you are so respectful, you, you love people and all that. When God lifts you, then will you remain humble? Will you remain respectful? Will you remain connected to God? Or will you say, no, I don't have time again. You know, my job doesn't give me time and all that. What will, what will be the story? So open doors is a test, an assessment of the quality of the character of a man. There are keys. There are keys that unlock profitable open doors. We started from the beginning of the, of the month, or beginning of the year, the first Sunday, with divine presence. You want to experience open doors? Divine presence is key. You want to experience open doors? The right hand of God. Because if that hand open, no power can shut the door. The right hand of God must be on your side. You want to experience open doors? You must pray and you must fast. You want to experience open doors? This one, I'm going to share it, you know, uh, fully with us next week. You have to engage what I call intense praise. Intense praise. You want to experience open doors? Intense prayer is needed. You want to experience open door? Another key is for you to take care of the needy and the widow. The needy and the widow. It's very, very important. You want to experience open doors? You must have knowledge. You must be knowledgeable and you must have information about what you want to do. You want to experience open door? Revelation is required. Revelation is required. You want to experience open door? You must become a kidnap partner. Become a kingdom partner. You want to experience open door, you must be a soul winner. And you want to experience open door, you must have a persistent faith. Persistent faith. Faith needs persistency. And God was so patient with, patient with us. So many of us will know how many years we have gone astray before God called us back. God had faith in us that we will still change. Eventually, God was so patient with us, he persisted, you know, and eventually we come to him. The same thing, you are asking something for God, you, the Bible said knock and it shall be open. He did not tell you how long you are going to knock, but you must continue to knock until the door is open. To everyone that knock, the door will be open. Listen, if you knock one minute, for instance, you go to a place, you knock the door one, two, three, and you keep, you, you, you keep, you, you, I mean, you stop knocking. Uh, it's possible the person is in the washroom, he couldn't even hear you. But if you keep knocking, at a point, the person will hear you. So it is, you must continue to knock the door of faith. You must continue to knock for that open door until something happens. And something great, something unusual will happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God said, I should tell somebody. The Lord says he's going to give you unusual insights. Please take note of this. Unusual insights to for problem solving. He's going to give you unusual insights for problem solving. Then you become a solution. You become a solution in the mighty name of Jesus. Unusual insight for problem solving. The Lord is giving somebody that capacity even right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord said, I should tell somebody. The Lord said, I should tell somebody that is promoting you to a new spiritual level. And there will be new gifts and empowerment in your life. There will be new spiritual gifts. There will be empowerment in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is the word of God to you. And you begin to enjoy from today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to listen to this. Access is needed. Access is needed. But you cannot have access without capacity. Capacity is required to have access in order for you to enjoy open door. However, to access open doors, we must embrace what I call capacity development. 
capacity development. You must develop yourself on the altar of prayer. Develop your, your, your reading culture. Develop what you do on a daily basis. How much do you invest into yourself? You must develop yourself. So capacity development is said to be the upgrade or improvement. The upgrade or improvement in an individual or organization to produce, to perform, and sustain a level of success. Capacity development is an upgrade within you or development within you, improvement within you that produces, that, you know, that, that performs, and that what? That sustain level, a level of success. There must be physical development. There must be mental development. There must be spiritual development. In your career and business spaces, you must develop your, your, your capacity so that you'll be able to undo that which is coming your way. God says, oh, I have given you nations. How are you going to manage the nations if you don't have capacity? Oh, I have opened doors. How are you going to benefit from that open doors if there is no required or commensurate capacity? So capacity development physically, spiritually is something we must embark on this year so that we can enjoy, so that our story will not be like the story of somebody that, uh, it's okay, come and manage this particular uh, empire. And it has no capacity to manage that empire. The empire will crumble. It will crash because there is no capacity. So there must be capacity development. God has promised a lot of things this year. But we must what develop ourselves to that level so that we can enjoy what God has for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Success. I will say that success. When you say somebody is successful, success is when developed capacity and skills meet with opportunity. Developed capacity and skills when it meets with also opportunity to say you are successful. Look at the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. It says quickly, I read, it says, And thou shalt remember the Lord your God, He is the one that gives you power to become rich. He is the one that gives you power to become rich. He does this because he is still faithful today to the covenant that he has made with your ancestors. God gives power to become rich. Power is capacity. When God gives you power, God has given you capacity for wealth. You must be able to use that power. You must be able to use that power in your favor. And the Lord will move you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I see God listening. The Lord is pouring perfume of favor upon somebody. Wherever you go from today, you shall carry aura of the Lord, divine favor upon you from today in the name of Jesus. I saw that perfume being poured upon somebody. Perfume of favor upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And that perfume opened doors. Unto you throughout this year and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Capacity is needed to enjoy open doors. Capacity is required to access open doors. Capacity is a necessity to be able to enjoy profitable open doors. You have open doors, you need capacity. David had capacity. He contacted God. He contacted his men. And they march out. They were able to defeat the enemy. What happens if they were not able to defeat the Philistines? It means the Philistines will take over his throne. And he, I mean, he will be overthrown. And will become, I mean, he will no longer be on that throne. That is why capacity is needed. God wants us to have good things. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in earth. Even as I so prosper it. 
The wishes of God for us is for good. He said, for the thought I have towards you are good, not for evil, to give you an expected end. The Lord wants to have, want us to have great things, good things, but we must develop our capacity so that when that opportunity comes knocking, we will be able to seize that opportunity and use it. So that when the, the, the enemy come in like a flood, we'll be able to rise up and the spirit of the Lord will be able to raise a standard against the enemy. The enemy will always come at the open door. We have to develop our spiritual capacity that, so that we can be able to stop the enemy that wants to stop our open doors. The Lord will help us. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will move us forward. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6, I read verse 1 and 2. Said there is an evil I have seen under the earth, under the sun. It is common among men. It's, it's a techno, it's a, it is common among men. And what is that evil? He said, a man to whom God has given riches, wealth, honor, so that he wants nothing for his soul, for all that he desires, yet God gives him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eat it. This is vanity and this is evil disease. What does that scripture mean? He's saying that God can give you everything. If God did not give you power to eat from it, it's nothing. It's vanity. And you must ask God to give to you. Remember, the Bible says, look at the book of James. James chapter 2, verse, chapter 4, verse 2b. He says, you do not ask because you do not ask. So if you need capacity, you need to ask God for it. You need to ask. God has given you everything. He wants you to be rich. He wants you to have supernatural open doors. But keep asking God for it. For what you want. For victory. For success. In every area. And remember, even Jesus said, Can a man enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods without first binding that strong man? So capacity is needed to deal with things you need to deal with physically, spiritually, and the Lord will back you up because you are connected to him. Capacity is required also to excel in your career. Capacity must be developed. We cannot afford to be a spiritual deficit this year. Listen, the spiritual controls the physical. And for the spiritual to control the physical, you must be connected to a supreme being. And that is only the time the capacity can, capacity can be given to you. The Lord will help us. The Lord will bless you. And the Lord will move you forward. It is true that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Just like, like uh, as the scripture says. But we must ask consistently. We must ask consistently. God has blessed us with all heavenly blessings like the book of Ephesians says. But we must ask consistently. But listen, spiritual blessings is what translates to many other blessings. When the spiritual controls the physical, when you have that spiritual blessings upon your life, then it translates to many other blessings. It translates to capacity development. It translates to so many other things that will favor you, that will move you forward. I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord for the word he has sent our way today. Bless the Lord for, for his word. Bless the Lord for his word. Thank him for his word. Thank him for his word. Thank him for his word. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, increase my capacity. Aha. Say, Lord, increase my capacity to access open doors. And to profit in, I mean, for, to, for open doors for, to be profitable unto me, increase my capacity to defeat all the opposition, to defeat all the opposition before me, to defeat all the opposition of my open doors, increase my capacity. Ask for capacity development. Ask for capacity increase. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray one more prayer. I want us to pray one more prayer. Say anything affecting my capacity development. Be destroyed today. 
in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is affecting my capacity development. Oh yes, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Whatever that is affecting my capacity development. I shatter you to pieces. Kapi elibo sakita handa ali yagada. Elia kaboske tita handa ali yagada. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I want you to stretch forth your two hands. And say this. Say, Holy Spirit. Give me capacity that is equivalent to my opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, give me capacity equivalent to my opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive capacity equivalent to my opportunities. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen. I want us to... Pray if you are connected and you are here to give your life to Jesus. Why don't you just lay your hand on your chest or you want to rededicate your life. Lord, I pray for everyone that sincerely they are connecting to you now. Sincerely they are giving their lives to you. Sincerely they are rededicating their lives to you. Holy Ghost, take over their lives. Take over their affairs and move them forward on in that in the name of Jesus. Bring them to your side. And use them for your glory. In Jesus wonderful name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Let us bring out our prayer request. Let us bring out our prayer request. Lebo shikapi hati tahali yagada. Everything you want God to do for you this year. Begin to wave that prayer request to the Lord now. Begin to wave it to the Lord. Le kabali akabo shikete libuza. La gada gada bo shikati teli yagada hambus ketita handa hali yagada. Wave it to the Lord. Wave it to the Lord. Le kabo shitali abo zekita handa hali yagada. Oh, begin to say, Lord, convert all my requests to testimony. Begin to talk to God. Lord, convert all my requests to testimony. Convert all my requests to testimony. Mention them one after the other. Mention them one after the other. Lord, convert all my requests to testimony. Convert all my requests to testimony. Le kabi katakabo shekete liboza. Li yalaba kiata liabo zekete liagada. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a man in the Bible called Moses. He prayed and fasted. He got results. There is a man in the Bible called Paul. He prayed and fasted. He got results. When Apostle Peter was arrested, the church prayed and fasted for Apostle Peter and an angel went there to rescue him. Jesus prayed and fasted, he got result. Daniel prayed and fasted, he got result. Lee Kabo Sata. Esther Spear heard the prayer and fasting for the people of the Jews and uh, of, of the, the Jews and they got result. I am praying for everyone under the sound of my voice. Just wave your prayer request to the Lord. Mali garabo. Ketita halia bos ketita handa halia. Everything you have written as request for this year. Le katapa. Lia di handa ha. Whether you qualify for them or not. Kelibo sata liagada. Kelibo shita liabo zakata. Let the Lord give them all to you now in the name of Jesus. Each day of this year, each week of this year, each month of this year shall produce your heart desire. Each day of this year, each week of this year, each month of this year shall produce your heart desire. Each day of this year, each week of this year, each month of this year shall produce your heart desire. Each day of this year, each week of this year, each month of this year shall produce your heart desires. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Father, incubate all these prayers, all these requests with your spirit. Let them become unstoppable testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for that person. You have written requests concerning your children. You have, you have concern concerning them. Let the hand of the Lord that turn around situation come upon those children. And let the situation be turned around for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray you will not cry over any member of your family. I pray your children will not bring disgrace to you. I pray your children will always be a source of joy to you. 
in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is due for marital breakthrough, Ligada, Biat Italiata, this year is your year of marital bliss and congratulations in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is due to the for the next level, this year the Lord activates an angel that we announce you wherever that you need to be announced for you to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that is due for total wholeness in their body, lead that Italia Santalia. That sickness will not end this year with you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord move you forward in a greater dimension. The Lord favor your cause beyond your widest dream. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I decree upon every request, become testimony on in that in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord move you forward. Let the Lord activate spiritual possibilities that will make all these requests a reality in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, everlasting Father. So it is. So it shall be forever and ever. And you shall be a testifier in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout three powerful amen. God bless you.